Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold and today we're going to do a full candle run through the Golden Wasteland. So we're going to find all the wax and today is a Sunday, which means there is extra wax in the Wasteland. So usually there are two cycles, there's cycle A and B and the wax will switch between those days, but every Sunday both cycles are present so there is a little extra. So we're going to go through here, collect all the stuff today. Now this might not be the most optimized route, it's probably not the fastest, but it's the way I go and I will show you where all the wax is. So I head through and I usually head towards the left here, I'm not sure why, I think it might be a little faster, but I don't know, it's just what I do. And my route down here is a little strange, I am showing you how you go through the arc as well. I don't usually go through the arc, so you could always just skip this part if it's super boring for you. But to me, personally, the arc is sort of a waste of time. Uh, but if I do go to the arc, I do a little zigzag formation. So first I head to the right here, and I collect the wax here. As you can see, there's like two clumps of wax this time, and usually on a cycle there's just one here. So I do a little zigzag, and this makes it so that when I come back, back to go do the rest of Wasteland, I just go straight. I don't know, it's probably wasting time, but I don't know, my, my, my brain likes doing it this way. My next stop is to go all the way to the left, where that wax is behind this sort of building here. It's quite out of the way, but my plan is to get all the annoying wax first, and then we'll just go straight through. I do recommend, if you can, invite a friend to go on your candle run because they will serve as a little battery that will keep you charged so you don't run out of light like I keep doing. Especially for the Golden Wasteland, just because it's so expansive and long, you can very easily run out of light, even if you have, like, the maximum amount of stars or winged light. You still run out pretty easy. So now I head across to these little sewer pipes and we're gonna grab the wax from there. Again, we have extra wax here. If you're going any other day of the week other than Sunday, there'll usually only be like one or two pieces. And then from here we go across behind this big building. I know it's kind of sad to leave all that wax, but we will come back for it. And we have a bunch of clumps here. Again, this is like the double cycle, so if you come here any other day, there'll usually be a lot less, like one or two here. Oh, and we completed a quest, that's nice. Alright, so we're going to head towards the arc now. I'm probably just going to skip ahead because I don't have enough light. See you there. Wow, we made it. That definitely didn't take a lot of time. We flew so fast. And now we take a sit and we will be in the arc. This meditation shrine thing takes so long. Just be patient. And we're off. Oh, we have a friend. Hello. So at first you'll have to view this cutscene. You can't jump off the boat yet. I know you want to. The boat is so long. But we'll just view this little cutscene and then when the camera pans in, you should be able to jump off. Oh, I have light now. Amazing. Let me out. We'll fly out. It is a lot faster to fly through the clouds. We'll give you a small boost. The boat just takes so long. So if you're new, to this area. It will look a little different. It might look a little grim, a little scary. Um, there are quests you can do here that will rejuvenate the area. I've done them all, so it's a little sunny. There's little banners floating, lots of light, flowers, water. It's really nice here now. 
and they're really nice quests, so if you ever want to do those, the quest giver is right in the middle of this area. You just have to talk to him, and then he'll take you on little adventures around the Sky Kingdoms. Our first wax in this area is just going to be along the arc, so I usually start on the left-hand side, and we will go along. Oh, and they're already lit, so we just got to fly through. Oh no. Okay, I thought that would look a lot cooler, like I just barely glide past, but we missed it. We have some just below here. And some right here. And our last bit is actually up top underneath where this winged light is. You might not be able to see it because I had the winged light there, but there are some candles. Next up, we're going to head to the crab cave. So we have a darkness plant here. Oh, and it's burnt. Wonderful. I thought I missed it. So going through the crab cave, we're just going to head mostly to the right-hand side. Keep right as much as we can until we hit a dead end. Then we'll hit left. Oof, I'm not flying super well, sorry. We have some wax here. Staying on the right hand side. And some more wax. Now when we're at this hallway, we have to go both right and left. So we have some wax here, we go back to the hallway, and now we go on the left hand side. And there's some wax in the middle, go back out towards that hallway, and keep going left. And it's the exit. Now in the arc area, there are no cycles, so this wax will always be here. It won't move. It's very easy to find. Now we're headed to the back area, to another cave system. Around this little pond, there should be two darkness plants. They are burnt, so it's a little hard to see, but there's one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. And then from here, we're just going to turn around and go through this little cave. Ooh. We're stuck on the wall. Let me just accept this candle. I know people get very mad at the candle flashing notification. I just ignore it. I usually do that and then I forge all my candles at the end of my candle run and it feels so good. We're just going to keep going and then we're going to head to the left and upwards a bit. There's a little tunnel out. We'll be following these people, but oops, maybe we should recharge really quick. Alright, we just needed a tiny bit more to fly over to this final boat. It's not super far, so you should be okay with just four or five wedges. basically following these people. So we're going to head to the very top circle part and then work our way down. So we have some wax in the circle here. Oh, did I miss some? And then in the crack. And then by the other part of the boat. And just around the pond. Now that is all of the wax in the Forgotten Ark. We are just going to go into the settings and head home. And we'll go back through the actual realm, back towards the Golden Wasteland. And we are back in the Golden Wasteland. So now that we did the Ark area, we just have to go straight, which is really nice. Obviously, if I'm skipping the Ark area, I'll just collect all the wax around here as I go. But I do like doing the zigzag thing just so it's nice and fast when I come back. You should shout just because there's a crab right here and he's gonna knock ya. More wax right here. And then this big clump of wax here. Make sure you yell a lot because these crabs are gonna start running at ya gonna knock you over. They're very mean. This wax though will always be here. It's not on any cycle. It is permanent. Yum 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 yum. Wax wax wax. Oh no. Oh, 
ellipses. I missed a single piece, so I just came back for that. And now we're going through the temple. This wax here is on a cycle, so it won't always be here. And then towards the exit. Again, there's extra clumps here today on Sunday. Usually there's only about one or two. I love coming here on Sundays. It's the best. Alright, and on to the next spot. Okay, so coming up, there are now going to be krill patrolling the area, so just make sure you're being careful. There is a home glitch that I can show you when we get spotted by one. Now right below here is some wax. Be careful though because the krill can spot you from time to time. Usually though it'll just target that manta. And then around this pillar. Now this clump of wax won't always be here. Oop, I keep tapping on these people. And then we're just going to fly above all this, ignore the krill. It takes a little while for it to fly back around here. We have some wax in the corner, and this one is always here. And then we're going into the next little room. And in this room, there is a bunch of extra wax today. It is cycled though, so if you're going any other day, there might be a bit less. And then we grab that last piece. And out we go. Now from here be careful because there's a lot of krill. I'm sure I'll get spotted though, so I'll show you the home trick. Our first stop is this little skull. I think it's a skull. From here we're gonna head to our next bone structure. I'm not really sure what it is. And we have a clump of darkness. This one's on a cycle, so it won't always be here. And then I basically just fly across the map at this point. Oh, I think we're gonna get seen. So now I can show you the home trick. So we're gonna open our emote menu, scroll all the way up, and we're gonna push the home button. Don't push anything else, just leave that open. Sometimes its light will turn blue and it can't see you, and that's fine, you're safe. Sometimes it'll stay red, but even if it hits you, as long as this menu is open, you won't lose any winged light. So just remain calm as much as you can. You can let it bonk you and you'll be fine. Now I'm going to head all the way to the end here towards the stairs because there's a clump of darkness over there. This darkness may be hard to collect if you're small. I think my character is too small. We might just drown. I may give up on this one. We'll see. Yeah, we're stuck in the water. So our best bet is to sort of fly up. Oh, are they tall enough? Or you can let your tall friend do it for you. Oh no, they're short too. Okay, so we're going to have to fly up and try and land on it. Otherwise, you can just give up on the last little bit. That's okay. It's only a little bit of wax. Oh, they got it. Good. Uh, usually, I would call... Uh oh Guys. Usually, I would call to make sure the person is fully charged so they can fly, but... I am not. I don't know why the camera angle just pointed to the exit. That was super weird. Now we are in this big sort of mountain structure. Inside is a big clump of wax, which is always here. And then we're going to climb up here. And there's sort of like a staircase made out of darkness. You can burn the whole thing. Oh, okay, we're just absolutely going to pretend that I made that jump. 
If you're low on light, you can call these butterflies, and then we're just gonna fly straight from here. There's that giant darkness plant in the middle. So if you're by yourself, you may have it already burnt, and that's quite lucky if you do. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have to help someone. Uh, you just do so by burning these little knobs on the ends and working your way down, trying not to fall. If you're small, you will slide off a lot easier. And you do need more than one person to burn this whole thing. It does take a bit of practice. Uh, I fell again. You want to just make sure that they don't grow again, so you want to make sure you just turn your candle towards it so it melts. There, and that's a whole stem of it. There's a lot more to it. That was already like half burnt. So from here, I head towards this wall. This is towards like the right hand side of this area. We're gonna get seen by acryl, so I'm gonna do the home trick thing. See, we're safe. We just flew past. And we're gonna go through this barrier. Now, once we go through this barrier, the wind will push you back quite a bit. Ah. We want to head back towards the door we just came into because there's a bunch of wax over there. Now this wax is on a cycle, so if you're not here on Sunday, only one of them will be present. I usually from this point head towards the boat. And sometimes there's some wax right here. Make sure you shout. There's a lot of little crabs here. They're gonna get ya. And now I go inside and there's a darkness plant here. It's not always here though. Again, shout. Oh, wow. It was like a little honing missile. Then from here we're gonna just exit. And where those players are, there's a bit of wax. And then behind this little rock here. Again, most of this wax here is not always here. It's all cycled. Uh, we're going to play it dangerous and just go in front of this krill. I think it's going to see us. We'll see. Oh. Home trick. It sees them. Now I'll just wait until it leaves. Come on, leave me alone. So from here, we're just going to get this wax right below us. And then we're going to fly straight up. And inside this little rooftop area of the boat, there is sometimes some wax. Now we're all done around the boat. We're going to head towards the exit of this area. I'm going to take the long way just in case the krill comes around. I could have made it. That's fine. Whatever. We're headed towards the big pipe system over here. The wax on the pipe system is always going to be in this exact spot. It doesn't move, which is very nice. We're just working our way up. It's kind of nice having this many people here. They burned the wax for me. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, and at this point there's some annoying stuff at the ends. Um, you may fall down a couple times if you're kind of new to getting it. You just really slide here. There we go. And now we're just going to fly through this barrier. If you're with friends, you should be walking because there's a glitch where if you fly, your friends might just fall through the ground. But uh, I usually fly. It's faster. Now we're going to head all the way towards the left. Take a very hard left. Following where these people are going. Over the hill. And we're headed towards where that little spike in the ground is. 
there is a small cluster of darkness over there we're going to get. This darkness is always here. And then always shout for the people that you're with down here because we just made that big flight. We're probably very low on winged light. So it's good to just make sure you fill their meter and hopefully they'll fill yours. Now we're flying up high. We want to land on top of this building if possible, but we can go around if not. We have some darkness right there. Oh god, okay, we fell. We're just going to pretend we didn't fall. We made it here. I don't know why I'm so clumsy today, but it's fine. If you really need to charge, you can always charge on this winged light here. But we're just going to fly straight up. And we have some wax up here. From here, we're just going to go down a bit. And there's some wax under these steps. And then we're going to go across towards where you can collect the spirit and there is some wax here and again this wax is cycled so it may not be here for the day oh they've almost done this tree as well which is nice there's another giant darkness tree you need at least two people to burn it down yay and of course you can always shout to make sure they're charged but there's a ton of them I'm sure they're fine we have a little darkness plant here, and then I'm going to head towards the left in this sort of broken building. There's some darkness here. And all of this is cycled at the moment. There's going to be some on the little spikes over here. And then directly across there's some spikes. There will be some there. We're just going down towards the next set of spikes. Where we have some right here. And then one more time across to these other spikes. Ta-da! That is all the cycled wax in this area. We have this little clump here, which will always be here. And let's collect our candles. Sorry, I totally forgot to do that. Sorry if that was annoying. Nice! So we did get five whole candles. We're missing one chevron. And then finally, we just have a bit of candles over here at the very exit. So there are three strips behind the statue, and then there's some right in front that will actually give you some wax. Most of those white temple candles won't give you wax, but these ones here will, so they're worth burning. And there we go, that is the last bit of our wax. So that is all of the wax in the Golden Wasteland for the Sunday Double Cycle. Thanks so much for watching you guys, I hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.